Hello guys, this is Richard Beast TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Yans TV, Alia Apur, Kuni Vlog, Michael Aburita, Des Villa, Monique Kiliamor, Gabriela Mampalawud, Hart Ponsalan, Rosel Badong, Jamaica Rimolta, Honey Love, SSC TV of Korea and even to those who did not join us during the premiere but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Hello guys, may problema ba tayo? Let's welcome the new year with a joyful heart. If ever you have problem, I want you to listen to this devotional because with God, nothing is impossible. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to John chapter 1 verses 35 to 42. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in John chapter 1 verses 35 to 42 says, this is about Jesus' first disciple. The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus, turning around. And Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and spent that day with him. It was about tenth hour. Andrew Simon Peter's brother was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which, which when translated is Peter. Amen and Amen. I guess let's now pray. Father God, just like the disciple na pinili mo, May we also be chosen as your child, O God. Di mo kami naging disciple, but yet we really wanted you to have us adopted being your children, O God. Lord, we will accept you as our personal Savior and Lord. And teach us to go more into you, O Lord God, and to you, so we may have a close relationship with you, O God. Like the tall disciple, they experience you, O God. They have experienced miracles. They have experienced everything being with you. May we also experience it, O Lord, the way your disciples experience it. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In this name pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. And it says, God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is God of the Invisible. Sometimes I feel as if I'm invincible, invisible, but so want God to use me. I was tidying up the exercise room at the hotel I was visiting when we struck up a conversation. As we talked, I discovered she had an amazing story. I used to be a crack addict and prostitute living on the streets, she said. But I know God wanted me to put down my pipe and walk with him. One year, one day years ago, I knelt at Jesus' feet, and he set me free. I thanked Anne for sharing what God had done for her and assured her she wasn't invisible. He had used her in our conversation a beautiful way to remind me of his power to transform lives. God loves to use people others might overlook. 
the Apostle Andrew isn't as well known as his brother Peter, but the Bible recounts that the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon Peter and tell him, We have found the Messiah, and he brought him to Jesus. Peter met Jesus through Andrew when Andrew one of Jen the Baptist disciples learned about Jesus from Tren. He followed Jesus and believed, and immediately told his brother Andrew, quiet faithfulness had an impact that would shake the world. God values faithful services over fame. We can use He can use us powerfully what wherever we are, even when no one is looking. Amen and amen. Do you believe, guys, na as of this time, the Lord could still use us para sa glory niya? No? The Lord can. The Lord can. Hindi na tayo pwede may disciple ni Jesus, but yet, like Anne, no? Nagabi yung buhay ni Anne, no? Prostitute siya, but yet, at that time, he accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior and Lord, nagbago talaga yung buhay niya. Guys, kailan pa tayo magbago? We need to change ourselves. We're now in a difficult times. That's why we need to be uh, to be closer to God. We need to know more of God. Kasi God knows us so much. Like and may we be a blessing na matutunan natin na there is still a hope like what God has done to us, no? So, my disciples, niya, well, now for me, they're so blessed because they are with Jesus. But at this time, our God is God that is everywhere. He is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. No? Omnipresent God. God who is everywhere. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. Whose quiet faithfulness made a difference in your life? Faithfulness made a difference in your life. Ah, still, no? Yung bago na naman, yung pamangkin ko na sinasabi kong adapted ko. Siyempre, consider her as, ano, uh, anak ko talaga kasi ako nag sa kanya, no? From one year old to three to five years old. Four years sa akin. Kaya, uh, while she is with me, I really taught her how to pray, no? Maski, ano na siya ngayon, na... Uh, birthday niya nung 6 happy birthday langga no happy birthday i always uh, make follow up sa kanya langga are you praying langga are you reading the bible langga are you reading the devotional i gave you yun pinapala ko rin siya kasi guys i really wanted this child to really grow na may takot sa panginoon i want her to grow na malapit kay lord well sa mga problema natin yung iba na may problema sa mga anak Nothing is impossible with God. I experienced that one with my father. But later on, God rechanged my father. Nasop in yung heart niya. And then at the end, no, uh, natuwa ako kasi may relationship talaga sa kay Lord. Bago siya namatay. Second question. <clears throat> How can you serve God by serving someone else today? Uh, ang ginagawa ko guys is, siyempre my sister is still in the hospital. No? Uh, Happy siya pag andun ako kasi alam niya na aside from caring to her because I'm a nurse, no, alam niya na pinipray ko siya. No? Dila ako napipray kasi when I go on duty sa kanya, andun din yung pamangkin ko. No? Sabi niya, oh you pray, ako yung una magpray and then yung anak niya na sinasabi ko na adapted ko na rin kasi ako nag sa kanya. Well, I'm so happy about uh, that child no? na may takot siya talaga kay Lord. And sometimes I could learn, wow, how I like her prayer. Ang gaganda ng mga prayer niya. Langga, no? God bless you. God bless you. You are always in my prayer. Sana, you will continue to use your skills and talent, no? Your relationship mo kay Lord para mag-glorify si God. I guess that's not pray. Thank you for never overlooking us, Father. We're thankful you can use us to make a difference wherever we are. Amen and amen. 
Yes, guys, paghamit tayo kay Lord. We must be a blessing. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us 10, 10 times better. This is again, this is TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at sa muli. Paanang!